If your toilet is constantly giving you trouble, there's a good chance the problem isn't your toilet, but your main sewer line. This was the case with one of our most recent jobs here in Fresno. After Hal's toilet backed up on him for a third time, we decided to run a snake cam down the sewer line connecting his home's plumbing to the city. We quickly discovered the roots from Hal's tree had punctured his sewer line, meaning Hal would have continued wasting money unclogging his toilet had he not dealt with the main issue at hand. When repairing a sewer line, two permits are required. A building permit allows for all work relating to the owner's home, and an encroachment permit is required for any necessary street work. Only once these permits are obtained by the City of Fresno can we start work. We will begin by marking and locating the sewer line and dig area. Once the digging area has been determined, we use a cement saw to cut through the asphalt. Once the lines are clearly cut, we use an excavator to dig up the dirt and asphalt. Typically speaking, a 5 by 6 foot radius is perfect for digging. We will then fill the dump truck with roughly 6 feet of dirt in order to locate and begin work on the sewer line. The old broken pipe will need to be cut and removed before measuring, cutting, and installing the new pipe. Once the new pipes and fittings are securely attached to the main sewer line, we will have to call and wait for a city inspector to come out and sign off. The city inspector's job is to make sure that the fittings and pipes are properly placed and secure. If the newly laid pipes do not fit evenly and just right, wastewater can build up, causing clogs and other major problems in the future. Only after the city inspector signs off on our repair work can we begin filling the hole. First, we press and pack the hole with dirt, then one to two yards of sand slurry. The sand slurry needs time to harden before placing asphalt over it. So, we cover the hole with this steel slab and place asphalt near the edges in order to make sure cars driving by do not disturb the slurry underneath. Our plumbing technicians show up the very next day and begin the final process. The new asphalt must be 7 inches deep with a 6 inch perimeter of non-disturbed soil. Tack oil helps the asphalt stick and stops rain and other liquids from seeping in between and possibly separating the newly paved asphalt with the old. If your toilet is acting up or you are in need of assistance with your sewer line, please visit us online or call us at 559-623-2340.